For centuries, we've looked to the stars, wondering if we could ever reach them. Now, a bold proposal dares to answer that question. A spacecraft designed to carry 2,400 people in a one-way journey across the galaxy. To Alpha Centauri, our closest stellar neighbor. Just over 4.37 light years from Earth lies Alpha Centauri, the closest star system to our own. It's a trinary system made up of Alpha Centauri B and the red dwarf star Proxima Centauri. In 2016, astronomers confirmed the presence of a potentially habitable exoplanet orbiting Proxima Proxima B. Roughly the size of Earth, it resides in the Goldilocks zone where temperatures could allow liquid water to exist. Could this rocky world become humanity's second Earth? That question drives visionaries, scientists, and engineers to consider the unthinkable. Let's be clear interstellar travel is not like hopping between planets. Even our fastest spacecraft would take tens of thousands of years to reach Alpha Centauri. To arrive in a single lifetime or a few generations, we need an entirely new kind of ship. One so massive, so self-sustaining, it becomes a world unto itself. A one-way trip eliminates the need for return systems, saving weight, cost, and complexity. The mission becomes not just exploration, but colonization. Imagine a spacecraft more than a mile long, rotating to create artificial gravity, equipped with farms, hospitals, education centers, and recycling systems, Every detail designed for one purpose, sustaining 2,400 human lives indefinitely. This concept is known as a generation ship or interstellar arc. Its goal, reach another star over the course of decades or centuries. Power would come from nuclear fusion or antimatter drives technologies still in development but promising theoretical speeds up to 10% the speed of light. This isn't a trip for thrill-seekers or astronauts, it's a mission to rebuild civilization on another world. Genetic diversity, skills, health, psychological stability, every factor matters. The crew would be a carefully curated population. Doctors, engineers, farmers, scientists, educators, and children. It's not a mission you sign up for lightly. Once aboard, there is no return. The ship will become home, and Proxima B, if habitable, will become the new Earth. Inside this spacecraft, life must be sustainable and meaningful. Children would be born aboard. They would never see Earth, only know it through stories, recordings, and simulations. Estes, oceans, and skies. Food grown hydroponically. Air and water recycled endlessly. Education systems would train each generation for the challenges of their future home. Habitable, does it have liquid water, breathable air, or the resources to support a colony? Assuming yes, colonization begins, the crew would descend to the surface bringing tools, shelters, seeds, and hope. The first city on an alien world might rise on the shores of an ancient sea beneath a dim red sun.